Hello, I'm Martin Sheen, and you're watching Bollywood Hungama. Thank you. It's a huge privilege to have Mr. Martin Sheen with us uh, here at the Plaza Hotel in New York. Uh, he's a part of a very important film, uh, Bhopal, A Prayer for Rain, which is releasing after, after a few years. Uh, sir, wonderful to have you on Bollywood Amma, first of all. Thank you. I'm delighted to be here. And I believe this film, uh, you've been very passionate about it because you've spoken about it in the past as well. It has taken up some time in releasing. Uh, are you happy mm -hmm. that it is finally, finally releasing? Yes, and, and, and very much so that it's being released so close to the date, uh, the 30th anniversary of the right. tragedy of uh, Bhopal, which is December 3rd, 1984. Right. Now, sir, uh, there will be a conjecture that um, the movie was made in 2009, it's releasing in 2014. There was a different government at that point of time. There was a, there was a, uh, a UPA government at that point of time at the center, and uh, which is basically helmed by, by Congress party, and now um, the regime has changed, and there is uh, BJP, and uh, now this movie is releasing. Do you think from this perspective that maybe it could be construed that uh, since the regime has changed, this movie is releasing now, in a way? I don't have that uh, possibility. To me, it, right. it, it, it doesn't exist. I mean, I, you, you can't change history, you know. Right. Uh, I know the, 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 the election, you have a new prime minister just mm -hmm. in the last uh, few months, but I, I don't have... Uh, enough information to understand the mm. political dy dynamics of uh, India or right. was because of a, a change in leadership that the film mm. is now being released. I, I honestly uh, don't know that that's uh, the case. I'm just delighted that it is finally being released. Uh, Warren Anderson, the character that, that you are playing, uh, in a way it's being called the villain of, of, of the movie as well because mm -hmm. uh, uh, of, it was his greed for profit that, that led to this entire catastrophe. He got a safe passage from India uh, because mm -hmm. of Mr. Rajiv Gandhi, who was a prime minister. What a pun. Of safe <laughs> passage from India. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a safe passage, <laughs> many would say that. Uh, and it's considered one of the blunders that, that, that Mr. Rajiv Gandhi did in his, in his mm -hmm. political career as well. Yeah. How do you look at it as? Well, unfortunately, Mr. Anderson chose to stay hidden behind the corporate shield. Right. And it would have been... Uh, extremely courageous and morally uh, righteous to have stepped forward and said uh, something to the effect like, I'm here to take responsibility. I had a hand in what happened here and I'm devastated by it. How can I help? That would have been a heroic and morally uh, sound position to take. Unfortunately, he fled and chose a coward's way out. Now, I understand all of the legal machinations, uh, machinations that if you say publicly, I'm responsible, you open yourself up for lawsuits and, and damage and, and also criminal prosecution. But that's the risk you have to take to be human. It's about being human because they, they were human beings that died there on that night. Thousands of people died. Each one of them uh, uh, lived a life that was as equally important to Mr. Anderson's right. as his was to uh, himself, you know, so there's no avoiding the reality of what happened and his part in it. I'm not saying that you can lay the whole thing at his feet, but that, that he was the one face that could have stood up and, and accepted uh, his, his responsibility, his role in the tragedy, which right. would have made all the difference. And he would have risked prosecution and public uh, 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 ridicule and so forth, but that's you know that's the risk you take when you uh, when you uh, accept the responsibility for these uh, this level of business you know of of corporate uh, executives. Hi, this is Faridun Sharyar. For the most interesting celebrity interviews, do subscribe to Bollywood Hangama. Keep on watching.